Yeah, so on today's lesson, we are going to learn about the three dimension geometry. That's 3D. That's a topic in form 4. And uh, we are going to learn about the, the angle between a line and a plane. The angle between a line and a plane. Or this one. So this was the KCC 2014. Uh, that is on paper 2. So therefore, you are given a cuboid P Q R S T U V W. This, that's a cuboid. And then you are told that PQ is 60 centimeters and QR is 11 and then RW is 10 centimeters. So in our question, we are told calculate the angle between the line PW, the line between PW there, that P to W, and plane PQRS and plane PQ. RS. So you want to find this, the 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 angle between uh, between a line and a plane. So we can lab this because you already have the information. So therefore, we say you want to find the angle between line PW and plane PQRS. PQRS. So the angle between a line angle between a line and a plane and a plane is the angle between is the angle is the angle between a line add its projection add its projection projection on the plane on the plane so that's the first thing to understand is when you want to find the angle between a line and a plane. So it's the angle between a line and its projection on the plane. And in this case, the projection is the shadow. So you have P, W, that's a line. And plane is P, Q, R, S. So you have this one. So therefore, the first thing to, to consider is where does line P, W make an angle of 90 degrees along this plane, P, Q, R, S. So P, W, there's W here. So W makes an angle of 90 degrees here at point R. So therefore, you must deal with the right angle square. So therefore, you can join P R. P R. So the angle, the line, uh, the, this line P W makes the plane P Q R S is this is W P R or R P W. This angle because the projection in this case. The projection of that one, of the of line PW projection, is PR. That's a PR. So therefore, our required angle, our required angle in this case, the angle between a line and a plane, is the angle between a line and it is projection on the plane. Projection. This one is on the plane. So PR. So the required angle is the angle is WP WP. Ah, that's the required angle. So this one is at 90 degrees here. So P R W is at 90 degrees. So therefore, find the length of P R. That's the step number one. Because you already have 10. We have 10. So find P R. So our P R in this case will be equal to P R will be equal to 60 squared plus 11 squared. Because it is a diagonal all of the base and the base is the base is rectangular. So find the find the find the length of PR, which is now the hypotenuse. So 60 squared, 60 squared plus 11 squared. You get this, it's uh, then square root of that is 721. So you get the square root of that 721, you get this is 61. You get that one is 61. So that is 61, that's 61. So therefore, that's 61. Then, so this is 61. So the required angle is this. It forms a right angle triangle like this. So you have a right angle triangle like this. So therefore, our, uh, this side is 10, and then PR, it makes an angle of 90 degrees there, and this is W. So therefore, PR, PR, our PR 
is now uh, square root of that one you get this is 61 PR square root of that 721 is 61 so PR is this one so the required angle is WPR WPR so therefore this one you can write there the three trigonometric ratios uh, you can write socket over there you can write socket over there so that therefore this one the are the three trigonometric ratios the sine equals to opposite of hypotenuse cosine adjacent of hypotenuse and the last one is tan is equal to opposite of adjacent opposite of adjacent so therefore you can take this because you call this angle this side is the opposite and this side is the adjacent side that's the adjacent sign and this is a hypotenuse now since you don't have hypotenuse you only have opposite and adjacent opposite and adjacent you leave sine and cosine because you don't require the hypotenuse so therefore you have you need opposite and adjacent so therefore in this case you use tan you say tan of angle theta is equals to 10 all over 61 10 over 61 so divide 10 divided by 61 in this case you get 0 0.16 uh, 0 0.1639 0 0.1639 so that's a the tan theta of this one so therefore to get the angle theta you find tan inverse of 0 0.1639 so take your calculator and press shift tan 0 0.1639 so you get the angle now using this calculator and this angle theta in our case the angle is 9.308 degrees now in the exam the case exam they have given to give your answer to correct to two decimal places so to two decimal places two decimal places so our answer will be equals to our answer now will be 9.308 to two decimal places one two zero go to the next one the third one is greater than five so add one to this so you get the angle now in this case is 9.31 degrees 9.31 degrees so that is how to find the angle between a line and a plane so it is the angle between a line and its projection on the plane so the first thing in this kind of question is identify where this line PQ makes an angle of 90 degrees on the plane, which is WR. Then from there now, that's now where you, you start. So this P, PR is the shadow of P, PW, it will cast the shadow there. So therefore the required angle is WPR. So that is how to find the angle between a line and a plane. Thank you very much.